Episode 2, The Collector. You and your fellow survivors were mesmerized as Cobb explained the dreamlands, a mystical realm full of secrets and wonders. He told you that it was possible to travel in time from there. However, it was difficult and posed many risks to both you and the timeline you were in. To traverse between the present realm, the one you came from, and time itself, you needed to find something special. Only you could know what it is so you had to be the one to find it. Several Dreamlandian moon phases go by in your pursuits. As you approach a bend in the road, the endlessly towering forest gives way to a tranquil meadow. In the middle of this placid enclave sits an ancient wooden door. A large center knob glistens brightly with gold in the shimmering sunlight. Cobb approaches the door with you in tow. You follow him through into a large chamber. The smell of old leather books, cigars, and whiskey permeate your nose. The walls are floor-to-ceiling bookshelves overflowing with tomes and miscellaneous strong boxes. Everything is illuminated by floating candles. Wax stalagmites reach up towards their masters, as if they're desperate to return home. Upon what looks like a stone throne in the center of the chamber, draped in shimmering yellow robes, face obscured by an eerie gold mask, sits an ominous figure. Glimmering shadows dance all around him, at times casting horrifying and seemingly alive silhouettes. His voice echoes throughout the room when he speaks. Welcome, friends. What business does a troop of humans have with me? Cobb speaks up. They need an item lost to them but found by the Collector. Would you aid them? Cobb asks, fully aware of the answer. Ah, the things we lose, sometimes missed but never forgotten. I will allow each of you to select one item from my collection. But don't be hasty. He points back to where you'd entered. You turn only to realize that the door had disappeared, leaving the wall filled with oddities and junk. Or so it initially appears. As those dim candles continued their eternal struggle to breathe, casting gilded light across the items, one on the upper shelf catches your eye. A small box glinting brightly in contrast to all else around it. As if responding directly to your gaze, a whisper rises up from its depths. I knew you'd come for me. You find yourself reaching up towards it, almost as if you had no control. This mysterious object now dominating your being. Could this be just what Cobb instructed? The box, small and smooth, feels like it's made of ivory or bone. It houses a gold hinge on the back. You open the box... The taste of blood fills your mouth. Tears begin to stream down your face. Emotions take you in their unforgiving grip and seem to squeeze you dry. Inside the box, looking up at you, is you. (laughs) Ha ha ha. Laughter booms off the walls. The collector rises to his feet. Or maybe he was already standing. It seems you lost yourself in your years among humanity. Will you find what you lost here in the dreamlands? I think not. Find a master and serve. Run, Cobb yells. He steers you to the bookcase you entered through, the door appearing once more. As you and your group dash through the door, it slams shut and vanishes in an instant. Carcosa will have you. The same booming voice echoes throughout the forest. Well, that was unexpected. Turns out you're more special than I knew. What do you wish to do with your item? Cobb circles in front of you and asks. Do you wish to explore your item and what it means? Shall we discard this item and continue on a new path? Would you like to visit the witch Yaga in the hope she can make you whole again? Or would you like to go back home and end your journey? Answer only once, and choose wisely. Once a path is set in motion, it is final.